Why am I starting with, uh, am I just uh, showing off or what was the purpose of that? The purpose of that is to show, perhaps this is a little bit more um, about sharing my thoughts about uh, progression. Um, I remember way back in October, it was not long after I'd moved and I was still finding, settling my practice um, and getting into a routine and I remember having a real issue with that top E this is for those that don't know it's the uh, it's the scale exercise in the Jean Jean um, and I was having a real blip with that top E I shared that I would say quite bravely when I didn't get it and it continued to trouble me um, and I thought about that a lot is this proving I can now get the E um, well, there was a certain amount of testing that was going on for sure, um, whether it was robust enough to share it. Uh, it could be construed that I put it at the beginning of the diary, that I could, if I didn't get it, um, that I would re-record it, if you like. Um, I decided that whatever would happen, I would actually um, share what had happened. Um, and. Uh, it was secure, it was safe. What do I take from that? Well, I take first of all that even though uh, these last few days have been pretty disparate with practice because of migraines and all the rest of it, um, how much the building up of my um, practice routine has really sustained me even through these last few days um, I would say almost a week of really uh, ducking and diving with practice and of course uh, I was in London and uh, in Hastings um, visiting uh, my children so I certainly had three complete days where I wasn't playing. Um, so it is also about stamina and testing out my stamina. Um, I've actually now finished my full warm-up um, and uh, although my thumb is definitely feeling the effects of it, uh, my face is okay and that's really, uh, really encouraging, um, particularly as I continue to think a lot about stamina. Stamina is something that I will say scares me. Um, trust is something I've brought up a lot in these diaries um, and I have tremendous trust in the warm-ups that I do, the processes that I use, and I'm going to go back to processes again um, in, in shortly. But uh, do I have trust in my physical stamina? <clears throat> that's where I feel very, very uncertain. And I think that's also been um, adding to my concerns these last few days as another day had slipped by yesterday. Uh, today I've got uh, the joy of being able to do a full warm-up before I teach at 11.30. I've still got time um, and so that's really super great. Um, there's something which is called devil in the detail, which I think is a curious saying. And I would say that in a sense, if one looks at the devil as things that we might not want, so I'm slightly switching that. And this is where processing is so important, that we can process at speed what is going on. And this is, you know, I'm verging on uh, the, the talks that I will be delivering um, and obviously OPC itself um, and the short, you know, literally teaching vlogs, which I will deliver. And that's not what this this daily diary is all about. But what this daily diary is about is that what I talk about in terms of my lecturing and my teaching is what I am thinking about in my own practice, and that is processing. 
that I can actually, my brain and my fingers and my intention, my instructions are all in sync, really. They are synchronised. And this is what is so crucial. Um, you know, when I look also at Paul's, uh, I'm turning my pages right now, if I look at um, Paul Harris's beautiful adagio um, and I was having some trouble in terms of the top F um, going with and it's it's again a wonderful piece to use in obviously not only to perform because it's a gorgeous piece to perform with piano um, but it like the Messia like actually the last movement of the Jean Jean I use uh, because there's one thing about the fingers, but there's also the other about the mouth. And for me, actually, my concern is far greater with my oral facial than my fingers that have been trained hard, I would say, uh, not in a hard way, but trained in a very meticulous way um, all through my playing life. Um, and so I have... Uh, an inherent trust of my fingers, even the little finger that I broke back in 2019. Um, I don't now have to think of it so uh, consciously, but I can subconsciously, I've made the adjustments. It's a slightly shorter little finger, only by a little bit, but it took me some time to really train it. Um, and now I can trust it that I don't have to give it all my uh, attention, my focus in terms of the finger. But my mouth and my oral facial relies more on um, uh, the, the, the actual physicality. Um, and that's where, as I sort of said earlier about stamina um, and robustness um, in weight loss and all the rest of it, that this is still um, strong. And inevitably, I will say to those more mature players, it is our oral facial that in the end uh, is what gets us with age. I'm sorry to be kind of, you know, uh, to, 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 to share such a sensitivity, but I'm very, very aware of it. And as the time clock ticks, uh, I know there will be a time and that's where it's being meticulous. And that's where the devil is in, devil in the detail is about whether it's about the cognition in fast playing and looking for where doubt or where where insecurities or where inaccuracies might lie. That's where the devil in the detail, we have to seek it out. We have to look for what we might not want to find. Um, in doing this slow adagio, which again, I have done, I've done the full warm up and I'm coming to this um, sort of sharing this at the end of the warm up, my observations. And in fact, what was interesting was that my brain, uh, in terms of the instruction, because I keep sort of enforcing that it is the instruction from the brain, whether consciously or subconsciously, which instructs all our physiological and physical actions that result. And if that instruction is either not quite right, or not quite appropriate, not quite what we need, or we're thinking a little bit, um, we're out of sync or we're distracted, that's where the trouble lies. So in going up to the top F, for instance, um, in this beautiful phrase, and what I realised when I was replaying that before and I'm reintroducing the instruction is that in a sense it's a bit like um, cycling a bike if you like to use that or driving a car and you're coming up to a hill you're coming up to resistance where do you start accelerating and I was realizing that actually um, the note before the top F was just too late to get the sound on the F that I wanted. So I've re 
uh, digested in a sense um, and re-planned um, my instruction that I would push the sound more from the preceding three notes so that by the time I get to the B it is of the quality that gives me enough of the reinforcement to play the F in the tender and warm way that I want but also securely. These are things that we cannot do intuitively. We have to plan them. We have to plan if we want to do a subtle musical intention that the creativity is in that uh, intention. But to realize the intention is a very pragmatic, systematic, instruction-based, um, purposeful way that has to realize the creativity. So, um, so what's this all about? This is all about um, realizing the progressions and the developments which we are making as players in our daily um, warm-ups, in our daily practice, and recognizing the tiny, tiny incremental steps, the little rewards. And that, for me, certainly, in where I am concerned about my physio physical state and that I am still, as a player, fit for purpose. This is encouraging. Um, I know there will be a time. I hope it will be years hence. But for now, to recognise the little, the little progressions that the E in that other exercise is not giving me the trouble that it did before means that the practice and the warm-ups that I've been doing um, are paying dividends and that if there is some doubt it's possibly because my um, cognitive is not in sync but that I am fit for fit for purpose if you like um, and that I have I'm going about things in a um, in a positive and robust way is encouraging why not take encouragement from achievements. I think it's incredibly important. We can so easily move the goalposts and go, well, yes, I did that, but I didn't do that. Now we have to really accept. The other thing, recognise, I would say, the other thing is that when I started this, I was on uh, 112. Um, now I'm on 116. I could push it to 120, and I've been working on that in terms of the scale. But I want to make sure that my cognition and the clarity of what's going on, that my listening, my observation, everything that we are absolutely tuned in every second of every minute, because there is so much to think about, not only what we're doing, processing the instruction in order to support what we're doing, but also the feedback to check that we are doing what we intend to do, that if there's a tiny... A tiny slip or there's an articulation that's not as clear um, that we have the um, the attention um, both oral and uh, kinesthetic the physical attention the cognitive attention all of that is you know there's a lot to think about and in the slow that we can get easily distracted and that's why a lot of people find slow playing harder than fast playing actually that we can get easily distracted, that I know what I need to think about, where the vulnerabilities will always be, but that I have uh, an instruction, a robust instruction, which I know will uh, result in what I want. And of course, when we have that instruction, it's not necessarily rigid, because of course the read changes, uh, many things slightly adjust, but basically we have a core instruction. And when we have that, um, certainly I feel that I have got a basis from which to adjust in, in the same way as perhaps a dancer or, you know, in, 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 in sports or whatever. Um, but we have to start with that core. And that's really what I'm constantly looking for. That's what is threading through and is part of um, my warm up is to get and understand and warm up my brain, warm up my fingers, warm up my mouth, uh, check those instructions and get in tune, get 
so totally focused so that now I can move on to learning notes and doing um, E flat and Orfeo and the other pieces that, that I've got on my list to work at. Um, and my brain, um, my intellectual brain and fingers and mouth and all the physiological um, is all in tune, in sync um, and looking for the details as well as looking for the devil in the detail but also looking for the accomplishments which is what makes us all and certainly me um, feel there is a, a purpose and there is a progression and that's incredibly important uh, it certainly is for me